Today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the Hasbro Marvel Infinite Series, Marvel's Beast. Part of the new wave of Marvel Infinite Series, and... Uh, Beast was one of those figures that also came packaged as a repaint and then slightly retooled. And I'll show you guys that figure as well in a separate video. But it's nice to see a classic blue beast in figure form. Once again, I won't touch too much on the, the packaging. I just kind of think it's kind of boring. But needless to say, though, we flip around the back of the package. There's a picture of Beast. Short, short read-up says superhuman strength, ape-like agility, and PhD in uh, biochemistry. Hank McCoy is Beast so vague. Other figures available are Bishop. We also have Sandman, which was also featured in a different variation with the all-sand version, and also Black Cat. This comes from the folks over at Hasbro. You can also go to www.marvel.com if you want to check out more pieces for Marvel, and really just Marvel comics, news, and other things as well. Spot's going to take a break and get this guy opened up. When we come back, we're going to get a better look at the Hasbro Marvel Infinite Series, Marvel's Beast. Don't go anywhere, guys. There's more Henny Way. Stay tuned. So with Beast out of packaging, let's get a better look at the figure. And got to say, I really like him. I think they did a great job releasing this guy. Now, the only downside, though, and the probably the one and only downside I have to this figure is the face. Don't get me wrong. I love Screaming Beast. I think that's so cool that they would release. And he's got some good paint in the mouth, the tongue, and the teeth area. But I also would have loved to see this guy with a closed mouth. The deep thinking beast, the beast that reads books. Not the beast that's gonna come over and rip your face off. This is kind of the beast that we get in this figure form. So while we also got a gray beast, I kind of would have loved to see this beast with also a different head, just saying. The head always is pointing down, which is the downside to the figure, no pun intended. His head can't be raised any higher than what you're seeing right now. I thought just out of packaging, okay, I could just manipulate it and move the head up, but it doesn't look like it wants to go any further up than what you've got right now. Uh, also to his torso is very wide, but it seems like it's flat right around this area here. It doesn't seem like he's got enough proper beef on the back to explain the width of his torso. The rest of the figure though is done very nicely. Nice, bright, vibrant blue, which seems like it's differ different in the head, arms, and legs than it does in the torso. It might be that the torso has a little more sheen going on there, that uh, it does look a little jarring versus the rest of the figure. He's got his uh, dark blue trunks on with the X-Men belt, yellow belt there. And in perfect form, Beast is very super articulated. I do really like him. I really like him. I just kind of wish that his head uh, A could have pointed up a little bit better and B kind of wish that there was a release of this guy with a closed mouth just saying um, also digging the dark blue fur that they've put on his arms there the rest of the figure though is basically this one color of blue though again as mentioned it varies a little bit around the chest area section when it comes to Beast's articulation, while well, his head does rotate left and right, it feels like it should be a ball joint, but truth be told, it doesn't rotate any more than just left and right. You can't do any head movement up and down. Arms do hinge out, which are very stiff, but they do hinge out. Rotate all the way around. He does have a bend and rotation all the way around in the forearm. Doesn't have any swivel in the wrists. Those wrists are sculpted in, folks, to the rest of the arms. He does have a swivel in the waist, which I think he actually has a swivel in the waist, although truthfully I haven't tried moving it yet. So maybe, no, it looks like it is one solid piece. So arm articulation, head articulation, and then when you get to legs, legs do move out very easily. Nice new ball joint system in the legs. Uh, it swivels slightly as well, but more so just because it's ball jointed. He has a double bend at the knee and a bend and hinge in the foot. You know, honestly, they could have released this guy as well using 
pretty much the exact same base as this figure here, release him also in a Marvel Legends treatment. Maybe they might actually do that. I mean, coincidentally enough, we got Infinite Series Daredevil roughly around the same time as the Marvel Legends Daredevil that's part of the Amazing Spider-Man wave, but they could kind of do the same thing with Beast. Just as some suggestion, it would be nice, though, if this Beast could also have the closed mouth. So Spot would hate to sound like a broken record, but I do like Angry Beast, but I also like the Philosophical Beast, too, and I feel like I don't get it with this particular figure. The rest of the figure, though, is awesome. For that reason, Beast, I'm going to give him an 8.5. Today's Toy Spot, we were having a look. Can we put him in a dynamic pose? I don't Spot's not always the great at dynamic poses, but what, what we can do, though, as we wrap this video up, is put him in some Beast flying mode. There we go. Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Marvel Legends, well, Marvel Infinite series. We're having a look today at the Beast. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more Toy Spot's heading your way. Thanks for watching, as you always do. I'll see you next time.